Hey guys, this is Jamop, aka Habobiza here, and I'm back with another episode on the feed the Be on feed the beast. So I've done a lot um, since the previous episode. I've started construction of my base, which is pretty much made out of marble. Um, I'd show you the exterior now, but there's it's nighttime. There's a lot of mobs around. Um, inside, I've got a macerator, which is yet to be linked up to a bat box, and that to be linked up to a generator. Um, I've got my iron furnace and crafting table, and I thought I'd show you guys something, but hang on, I'll, I'll, I'll do it in the morning because, well, there's lots of mobs outside, so I'll see you guys, I'll see you guys then. Alright, uh, we're back guys, and, well, it's the morning, so I thought I'd show you the weird thing I found. Uh, it's just up here. <coughs> Wait, no, no, I think it's on the other side. Um, I think it's something to do with... Ugh, oh. oh, creeper. Ugh, oh, just blew a hole. And the skeleton's still alive, so the armor really made him tough. Um, so, yeah. I think this is something to do with Thorncraft. Um, I think this is a high flux area, I think. Uh, it is because there's a there's a lot of great wood trees around here and well there's this weird uh, dungeon like thing that I'll show you it's, I think it's here I oh, know I think it's just it's right here in this hill um, yeah this thing uh, inside there are multiple spawners and it, it reminds me of a large dungeon uh, so yeah here are other spawners and there were chests in here with some pretty good loot. There was a bronze chest plate, um, and s uh, what else was this? I think some copper and iron, and also there was a research, a fragment of research or something. Um, so I have to look into that later when I start using Thorncraft. So I thought I'd show you guys that. And also there's this um, very rare block right here, which I'll just take. Thank you. Um. So yeah, I'll head back guys and sh uh, now guys, I'll show you what I'm doing. Okay guys, so this is the exterior of my base. Uh, the, here are the pillars, the marble pillars, and here's the little rooftop. And I'm, as you can see, I'm growing rubber trees here to collect rubber to make insulated um, copper cables. So what I'm going to make today, hopefully, is a wheat farm. So to make a wheat farm, I've got... Uh, yes, need the bronze. Uh, I need two more bronze ingots, but yeah, I need a sturdy machine, uh, four glass, and some bronze. Um, so I think I'll go get the glass now, so we need sand for that. I just think, I think there's sand right up here. Ooh, there's oil, that's good. Um, so... I'll just harvest this, harvest this sand, and I'll show you guys the research fragment when I get back. Yeah, this should be more than enough. Well, glitch, weird. Okay. So the reason why I chose this uh, location for my base, it's close to the village, so I can trade with villagers. Um, it's fairly close to um, other interesting biomes, and it's in an area of high flux. I think that's what it's called. So it's good for um, researching in Thorncraft. Okay, so I'll just put this in the furnace. I, shouldn't, I only need four glass. That should be enough. So I'll show you guys the research fragment. Uh, Knowledge fragment, yeah, um, I'm really not sure what to do with this yet, I assume it's something to do with the research table, and also I've got these, um, vis shards and fire shards, I'll look into them later, um, when I get into Thorncraft, but right now I just want to make an automatic wheat farm. Okay, that's, sh that's enough, now I just need two more bronze ingots, uh, copper dust, yeah, I need, uh, where's my copper? Moots in this furnace. No. Ah, there it is. Actually, yeah. I'll put it in the iron furnace. It's quicker in there. 
Okay, that's enough. So I've already got the sturdy casing and the glass, so all I need is four more bronze ingots. Oh, what? No, 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 no. I don't want to make copper ingots. Ah, uh, oh well. Oh. I can still macerate them, I think. Yes, that's good. Oh well. It's really slow though. Horribly slow. Painfully slow. Um, so I have these batteries and machine blocks cause I'm, because I'm hoping to make the bat block, but I'm going to need um, some more resources if I want to make that. I used a lot of my resources on the macerator. A lot of my limited resources. Um, I think that's enough to make bronze. Uh, where's the... Okay. Yep. I'll just smelt this and we'll have the two more bronze ingots we need to make the wheat farm. There we go. Okay, so I think it goes like this. With the sturdy casing in the middle. No? Okay, then. Uh, then it would go like this. Uh, no, am I doing something wrong? Uh, Hang on, I'll look up the recipe, I'll be back then. Hey guys, I'm back, and well, it turns out the crafting recipe for the farm is, well, a lot different from what I expected. Um, this is the actual crafting recipe. So I have the sturdy casing and the glass, but I still need the small circuit board and the bronze electron tubes. Um, they're not that hard to make though, I've already got the carpenter running, which makes the small circuit board, but I need more water. I believe. And I've got the redstone engine running here. Um, nothing much has changed uh, elsewhere, so I guess I'll just go get some more water. As far as I know, um, using water buckets isn't the most efficient method, but I guess it's the most most cost efficient. Um, you can make water cells, which I think fills them up enti uh, the carpenter up entirely, but uh, yeah, I'll just stick to using water buckets. Zombie. <coughs> Ooh, zombie brain, that's good. This is going to take a while. Maybe I should just make an infinite water source. I think that would be better. Okay, now I need one more bucket of water. I don't know why these hives, they produce light, so... And I don't even know how to harvest the bees inside. Oh no, I stared at that end of it. Half 
halfway there. What's that noise outside? Mm. Whoa! Stairs. <sighs> well, I'll have to patch this up. I'll see you guys when I finish doing repairs. Hey guys, I'm back. And, well, it's time to craft the next thing that's used in the recipe of making the farm, and that is the Thermionic Fabricator. So I need sturdy casing four gold ingots and four glass. So, I'll make the sturdy casing now. All you need is eight bronze ingots. There we go. And now I need the glass, so I'll go get some sand. I uh, may have noticed I've disabled the sound. That's because it was raining and I hate the rain sound. I should really make a spade, but I don't need I only need four cents, so it doesn't really matter. Uh what should I clear out? Okay, that that's enough. You guys may have also uh, noticed, uh, noticed this. This is the wand of the apprentice, um something I crafted in Thorncraft. Uh Basically, you can use it on a cauldron, and it, an ordinary vanilla Minecraft cauldron, and it becomes a crucible, which is one of the things required for Thorncraft. Ooh, carrots. Uh, what should I throw up? Wait, no, I need that. Okay. Okay. And yes, there have been a lot of creeper explosions, as you can see. So, oh, so we have the sturdy casing, and now we need to cook the sand. Cook the sand. And what else do I need? Um, four gold ingots. Okay, that's fine. I have gold ingots out here in the chest of materials. Okay, I'm just waiting for this, and then we'll make it, and then uh, we'll be able to make the farm, hopefully. I'll just uh, put some stuff away. There we go. Okay, let's make the machine. Ooh, wait. I always stuff these kinds of things up. Um, hmm. Ah. Right, it's only three glass, okay. <laughs> uh, so that went like that. And we need to make a chest, okay. Oh. Okay, I'll just grab some wood then. So if you guys are wondering how to make this wand here, you, all you need is a stick, um, a shard of any type, so an earth, earth shard, fire shard, and a gold nugget. Very easy things to make, but um, the wand of the apprentice only stores 50 vis, I think it's called vis. Uh, but you can upgrade the wand into two different types that hold 250 vis and 1000 vis respectively. Um, okay. So now I've got the wood, where's the wood? Did I even pick up that wood? No, I didn't. Okay. Uh... Okay. Oops. Okay, now I can make the chest and finally make this machine. There 
we go. Now I think this needs to be powered by another engine, so I'll just uh, be right back when I've created the next um, steam engine. Hey guys, I'm back and I finally figured out how to work this machine. I've got the two engines running here and if you put glass here and the materials here, you end up, oh, how'd that get there? You end up with these electron tubes, uh, which I need for making the farm. Um, so I just need the sturdy casing um, last. So I'll just um, make this. So I've got two bronze, I need six more. So I'll just smelt this, uh, th I'll macerate this copper. And I'll come back when I've finished making the farm. Alright guys, so I've finally got all the bronze I need. So and I've got the sturdy casing, so let's make the farm. Okay. And now I need these here. And finally that's in the chest, okay. Um, oh yeah, you guys may have also noticed I have these two portal spawners and some thormium which I found in a dungeon. Uh, I, I'm sorry I couldn't show you that, but okay. So once again... There we go, we've made the farm, yay! And I'll see you guys back at base when I've made the combine. See ya. Hey guys, I'm back and I've finished making the combine and the farm. So, I'll just place the farm down and the combine next to it. So, I need dirt. I'll just supply this with some dirt. Actually, I could do with getting some more. Okay, I'll use this for now, but it might not be enough. Um, I've only got one seed. What happened to the rest? I think they might be over here. Yep, here they are. Okay, so for the farm, you have to put in the seeds and the uh, and the dirt, and it will pretty much do everything else for you. But um, you need it to be powered by an engine. I've got the Sterling engine here. Um, did I bring a lever? No, I didn't. Um, I'll just quickly make a lever. Ah, uh, stone. Alright, just one stone. I only need one stone. Okay, there we go. I could have also used a redstone torch, but, um, I like being able to turn the machine on and off with ease. Uh, coal. Yep. So that's working. Um, now this needs to be um, uh, hooked up. So I've got the... Uh, I didn't bring them, did I? Damn. No, um, well I've got diamond transport pipes and a golden transport pipes here so I can easily filter the items and sort them. So, uh, I'm really not sure about this but I think you'd want to have um, one of these here. So, for red For red, I'll put in uh, seeds. Have I got any excess seeds? I'll just take uh, one seed out of this. 
There we go. And this will be the filter, the red filter, so... Yes, so that's it. Um, and now I'll use the golden transport pipe, and so that goes out of the harvester and back into the farm. So, also this makes sand as a byproduct, I think, so... Um, I don't want that. Oh, wow. Um, so I think for sand... Wait, no, we don't need that. I think this should come out as a... Oh. Okay. So black is... out. Oh. Hmm. Not really sure. How does... Okay, so... Okay, we have red, and we'll do, um, hmm, I'm really not sure about this, I'll, I'll get back when I've figured something out. Okay guys, I'm back, I uh, rushed back and made some stone transport pipe, uh, cobblestone transport pipe, sorry, and that's when an idea came to me, I re realised how to make this, so, um, here we're going to have golden transport pipes going to a diamond, ugh. Oh. Really? Night time's not the best place uh, time for building, so yeah, um, connected to this diamond transport pipe uh, with this green filter, oops. So, and then out here we'll have some cobblestone transport pipes, and um, if you didn't know, golden transport pipes, they speed up um, the items in them slightly, so I think I'll have them around the corners here, so I'll put one here uh, to speed up the items, and then a, a turn here, so um, items come, hang on, I'll show you when I've finished this, So basically, um, this these diamond um, transport pipes let you set a filter um, in this blue filter here. I'm going to put seeds in, so that seeds, well, that's weird, will get um, filtered and uh, put and out of this harvester and put all the way through here and back into the wheat farm for another round to be farmed again. Another skeleton really. And then right here I'll have my chest and uh, that will collect the wheat so I'll need another filter for wheat but I'll just make a chest and I'll be right back guys. Okay guys I'm back I've got the next the other sterling engine I'll just power it with coal and I also have a chest. Okay, so this in this yellow filter I'll have wheat. Ah, oh, I haven't got any wheat. Okay, I'll just grab some from over here. There we go. Okay. Let's see if this works. Turn them on. Hm, that's weird. Okay, might have to wait a little while. Um, Okay, it's starting to destroy... Hang on, I'll just turn off the sound. You may not have noticed yet, but it's starting to clear out the land here, so it can put down the crops. 
Alright, this could take a little while. See, it's destroying... See? So you can see this. Um, the only worry I have is these um, Sterling engines. They need to be powered by coal constantly. Um, yeah. I'll just leave this running for a bit and I'll come back when it's fit, done its job. Okay guys, um, so it's started to place dirt. Ooh, it's uh... These engines are turning green so I see it's using more power. Um, so yeah, it's pretty slow with these engines, but hopefully I'll make a combustion engine soon. Ooh, do you need... does this thing automatically place water there? I'm not sure. In the videos I've seen it has... Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. It's placing water. That's good. Um, so I'd highly recommend one of these. It's a wheat farm without the hassle of ever managing it. It just does it by itself as long as you keep these engines powering. Um, so yeah, this um, pattern, it places them in a very uh, tight pattern. I think that's an, a very efficient pattern also. It's, it's, you can see it's starting to place the seeds down. Um, so it's got water every two or three blocks. And yeah, so that's the wheat farm. And that's pretty much this episode, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I might speed the progress up a bit by using bone meal on these seeds just to see how the sorting system works. So I'll show you guys um, that. Okay guys, I got some bone meal and let's try harvesting these crops. I'll turn the harvester on now. And this might take a w little while. I'm only using uh, sterling engines. And also, I haven't got enough seeds to complete the whole thing yet, but um, I'll get enough seeds soon enough. Come on. Oh, there we go. Can you see that? The wheat. Oh, zombie. Yeah, um, so the wheat. See the wheat's going through here, and the seeds get sorted back into this. So, so if you followed my guide, you should easily be able to make one of these. Do you see? And also note how the items get sped up around here, thus improving efficiency. And I'm out of dirt as well. Um. So that concludes this today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It uh, took a lot of effort to make. See ya.